Now we are going to learn about another algorithm to find version space that is candidate elimination algorithm. After discussing this an algorithm, we make, the, we make it more clear by solving a problem to find version space for the concept red ball. In this algorithm, we, have, we are maintaining two lists, one is G and another one is S. G maintains maximally general ca candidates of hypothesis and S maintains maximally specific, specific candidates of hypothesis. Our algorithm finds to find all the hypotheses between this G and S. This whole together provides G maximum specific, maximum general and in between hypotheses constitute this version space. In the previously discussed algorithms, general to specific and specific to general only finds only one consistent hypothesis to describe the con concept. Here, the candidate elimination algorithm finds all the consistent hypotheses, including maximum general, maximum specific, and in between hypotheses. Now, we are going to discuss how this candidate, candidate elimination algorithm works. This algorithm maintains two lists, one is G and one is S. On seeing each positive instance P, we have to make some, make some modifications in G and S. Delete all members of G that fails to match this P. If there exists some hypothesis in G which failed to accept this positive instance, remove that hypothesis. If there exists some hypothesis in S, that does not match this P. That means if there exists some hypothesis in S that doesn't accept this positive instance, we have to make some modifications in S such that it accepts this positive examples. Now, if when we see a negative instance, then also we have to check both G and S. In S, if there exists some hypothesis that accept this negative instances in S, we have to delete that. If there exists some, hypo some hypothesis in G that accept this negative examples, we have to make changes in G in such a way that we have to add specializations that do not match N. This algorithm you have to read after 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 listening how to solve the solve example using candidate elimination algorithm. We are going to apply the candidate elimination algorithm to find the version space related to the concept ball, red ball. Giving the training set having four instances and among the four instances. Two are positive and two are negative instances. Here we are having three attributes, size, shape and color. Now, we are starting with G and S. G accept all the instances by using this hypothesis space X, Y, Z. Yes, accept no instance. The current hypothesis is x, y, z and null z. On seeing the first example that is positive small red ball, we have to check whether this positive example is able to accept using both G and S. Of course, we can accept this positive example using x, y, z because x, y, z are variables which are able to accept any value for attribute. Now let's check whether we could able to accept this positive example using s. No. Then according to algorithm, we have to make changes in s so that it accepts this positive example. Made changes like this, small red bold. 
Now the current hypothesis is x, y, z and small red ball. And we got the next instance which is negative. Now we have to check whether we could able to reject this, reject this instant using both g and s. Let's try with g. x, y, z. x, y, z can accept any value, many value and this g accept this training instant as positive. So we have to make changes in g. Then we, you can apply the same algorithm as general to specific method. So we have to refine or we have to specialize this variables x, y and z. Now let's check this x. Small value is able to get in accepted. And so if we give this specialized with the large, then it fails to accept the first instant. So we keep x as x this y. If we keep this y then if we keep this y as as red then it's able to accept the first instant and reject the second instant. So we specialize this y to red. Keep is it as same because if we make change this ball to some another value from the domain it failed to accept the first positive instant so we got x red z now check with this specialized hypothesis s small is getting accepted blue and red is getting rejected and bold bold getting accepted so our special specified hypothesis as reject this negative example so there is no change is required now again we got a positive example large red ball and our current hypothesis is these two let's check whether we could able to accept this positive example using this g let's check whether we could accept or reject this hypothesis X getting matched with large, red getting matched with red, Z getting matched with bold. So this G is able to accept this positive example. Now try with this specialized S. A small and large is not able to getting matched. Red and red is matching, bold and bold is getting matched. So we have to make some changes according to the algorithm. Then what are the possible values of attribute size small and large? Both small and large. Small, when, when we're trying to make specialization, we have to ensure that our hypothesis accept previously seen positive examples. If we give large, then it violates the first positive example. So any value of size attribute is able to accept as positive so we make it as a variable x x red ball now our current hypothesis is so and so and we got a new instant which is negative that is large red q let's check with our current hypothesis g and s let's try with g X and large getting matched, red, red getting matched, Z cube getting matched. So this G accept this negative example. So we have to make changes accordingly. So this Z, Z can have various values, ball and cube. Then all, then we have to make specialization. Then we made this specialized as bold. Then red bold we got. And we have to try with this S. X and large get matched. Red and red get matched. Bold and cube is not able to match. So this S reject this negative hypothesis the negative instance there is no required to make any changes in s now the whole process is shown here initially we are starting from g and s on seeing the positive examples we have made these two changes 
and then we got a negative example and we made changes accordingly. Again a positive example, we made changes to both G and S. At the end we got a negative example, we made changes and at the end we got the final hypothesis as X red ball which clearly X clearly describe the concept red ball.